So you want to become a London cab driver. Where do you begin? What happens? Well, fundamentally, it is learning this map, but to digest this map down, because it's very daunting when you first look at it, you need to learn what's called the blue books. Um, there's four books, they're split up into 80 runs. And now what a run is, it's a starting point, might be a station, some famous point, and it will have a finish point. Again, might finish at a station, a square, somewhere like that. Now there's eight of those per book, so there's 320 in total. The idea of learning those is that they have various start and end points across London. So by the time you've done all 320 runs, you'd have been to sort of most areas within the six mile radius that's required to do the knowledge to become a London cab driver. I've actually got one run penned up here. It's the very first run. Um, it's quite important to pen them up, mainly so you can see geographically where they sit on the map. So you can see this first one, which goes from Manor House Station down to Gibson Square. You can see that Manor House N4 is up in this sort of region of the map, down to here, obviously Gibson Square in N1. The problem is if you went out and just run them without you know, coming back, checking up on the map and penning up on the map, you will have seen the streets, you can see where everything is, you know you, where you can turn right and there's the pub there you, and, and so forth. But you don't really have any relation to anything else on the map, so you, it's really important to come back, pen that up, um, and then begin to orally recite the runs. It might take some time at first, it is quite daunting to get all these brand new roads into, into your head, but once you start learning more and more, then roads stick, you remember roads next to other roads, it just takes a bit of time really. So this first one, once you have run it, come home, pen it up so you can see the shape of it. That's what I personally find is quite good, so you can then instantly in your head see where that is on the map, and then already recite it. So this particular one, leave and left green lanes, take a right into Brownswood Road, left Blackstock Road, forward Harvey Park, forward Harvey Grove, right St Paul's Road, comply Harvey Corner, which is the roundabout, leave by Upper Street, right into Barnsbury Street, left into Milner Square, forward Milner Place, forward into Gibson Square, and then set down at Gibson Square. And that's in the very first run. You need to do that with all 320 runs, and like I said, that really builds up your understanding of the map. Um, prepares you for the knowledge of London. Now just in addition to those blue books, they're quite important right through even to the very end most stages of the knowledge. At the beginning of the knowledge, they build up your understanding of London, take you to all the different areas. But the later stages, they are essential for fluency. So most people that I know of will do what they call call a book a day. So you would orally recite the roads of, uh, sorry, the runs from one book, so Blue Book 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, whatever. Uh, so, you know, across four days, you've then done all four books, or however may, you may fit into your schedule. Some people might only do 40 runs a day, whatever you find works for you. I personally don't a book a day, and what that then does is because you are orally reciting them, you're keeping all those roads fresh, you're having to see the roads every time you do that. Uh, but also, it's quite important, you know, physically for the shape of your mouth to actually expel those words from your mouth. It sounds quite strange to think about it, but I know some people that what they would do is they'd kind of think it in their head, so they go, hmm, move on the, hmm, hmm, hmm. The only trouble with that is it doesn't really prepare you for an exam situation. So come the appearances, to be actually be able to already recite the roads and actually exhale the words from your mouth is actually quite important for the memory to build up the road, because some of these roads are quite hard to pronounce. So you have to get used to saying them quite easily off, off the tongue. They should be like a, it's like a language, simple as that. If you don't exhale that, then you're not going to convince the examiner that you know what you're talking about. It might all be up here, but the examiner can't see what's inside your head. The only way they can truly tell what you know is what you tell them. 